Hi everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard and I am so glad to be with you today. This is the first time I have filmed in a couple weeks. I have had an abscess tooth and then I had the tooth pulled and I really did not heal well. So actually I'm really not as articulate. I probably, I'm sorry if I'm not as articulate as I am used to being, which might not be that great anyway, but um, yeah, it, it was a pretty painful process, and I'm and I'm still quite a bit of drugs are flowing through the uh, <laughs> the blood. So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully uh, this will go well. I was I have been able to craft though. It's kind of trying to take my mind off of the pain. So I went ahead and made these the stamps at Coffee Cafe, which we've all seen demoed a lots of times, and myself included. But I just love it. We all love coffee, right? We're the generation of fancy coffees. And um, I thought, well, what fun would it be to make a cute little tag? Take a look at this, guys. This is a little tag that can be hung from a gift or or whatever, um, a jar of something or, or jar of coffee, <laughs> bag of coffee even, like one of those fancy bags. You can tie it around. And it's a little note card slash tag that you can write a little note in here to so-and-so from so-and-so and write a little quick little note. You can do some stamping in there as well. Um, and yeah, I just thought they were so cute. This is actually mint macaron, which is retired, but I was just playing around. I was testing the idea of the folded tag element. So I'm going to show you how to make that. I made a couple other ones. Let me show you those. This is with um, uh, Mel Mambo and Lemon Lime Twist and on Whisper White. Super cute and fun and bright and happy. And then this one is Flirty Flamingo with Rich Razzleberry and Lemon Lime Twist. So you can see I followed the same pattern. Uh, whatever color the little hand warmer thing is, that is the same color as this little plug. And then the stamping's the same as the lid, and then you have your base color. So it's working in a group of three. So let me show you how easy that is to make those. Aren't they cute? I don't know, I just, I love anything mini, mini, whatever. Yeah, super fun and very easy to make. This one is going to be with the base. The cup is going to be in Lemon Lime Twist. Bermuda Bay is going to be our lid, and then our stamping also, and then black is going to be these two elements. So to save time, I already die cut those out for you. Um, that's just with our dies, and I'm going to show you, um, and we're just, the only stamping we're going to do today is this Thanks a Latte, that's it. So um, yeah, I'll show you that in a second, but scoot these off to the side. You just need a piece that's like 5 by, what is it? I'm so rusty here. 5 by three and a half and we really probably don't need all of that um, but you can go ahead and just fold it in half if you just need something folded that's big enough to fit our die. Let me grab my big shot. So in the die set the only dies we used was the little uh, little plug we used the lid and we used the sheath um, thing. I love how that's already sort of scored and then the largest sized coffee cup and so that's where you're going to need either your magnetic platform or if you're like me and you don't have that you just need some low tack sticky tape so um, what you want to do is take the folded side so here's our folded side and we want to maintain the shape of the coffee cup so you don't want to go like that so the cutting blade of any die is if you don't have it on the paper it's not going to cut so we wanted to we don't want to go like that or like that we want to keep it this all we care about right now is this line being parallel with the um, cardstock fold okay it's the only thing we're concerned about the rest of the shape is going to fall now if you had pattern paper and did this that might be a different story but since this is solid all right and I'm going to go ahead and just stick that down sorry my tooth is Give me fits. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and put our top piece on there and run it through. And I had an avalanche. Okay, I'll take that off in a second. Let me get rid of my big shot. There's no room here. As you can see, we'll take our sticky tape off here. And now you have a little a cup that opens. Super easy, right? Don't need much. Um, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay because that matches my lid. 
I already have my stamp out. I've got something sticking to me here. And I'm just going to ink that up. So we'll get our, I should have done this before while I had my big shot up here, but all we're going to do is use this oval to cut that out and you don't need to see that, right? <laughs> feels good to be filming again though, I'll tell ya. <laughs> I've got loads of projects projects stacked up and ready to film. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Let me bring these back in here. I'm going to close this up so we're done with our ink. Um, Alright, so our lid, we're just going to put fast, or fast use or snail really is all you need along the um, bottom here. And it's just going to go on the front one. Okay, oops. So you just take that, you can even close it up and slightly overlap those, give that a good press. Obviously you don't want to glue yours shut, so um, yeah, like that. I used a glue dot on this, but you could certainly use something stronger like a Tombow uh, or your fine tip glue applicator. I just took a mini dot and sort of rolled it up because he really is a tiny little guy. Uh, and then you want to put that on the front bottom of the plug and then I just put mine in the middle and again you want to give that a really great squeeze there okay however you want to do that you could use probably should use this would be even stronger since he's a little one <clears throat> glue dots are great they're very strong but they have movement so once they're on there you, you're still able to tilt which is great for certain techniques but uh, if you don't want it to tilt, it might not be the best, but well, it's fine. All right, uh, on the flatter side, you want to go ahead and put your adhesive down. And then just put that there. Thanks a latte. Goes right in the middle. And then uh, you just want a, a hole punch here. So I just grabbed, um, like, a, this is the one I have, but... Um, this is like a 3 16 so whatever, kind of on the smaller side hole. And I'm just going to put that just below the lid and the back because you do, you don't, if you just put it through the lid, it wouldn't be as strong hanging from whatever you're doing. Post-it note stuff everywhere. Uh, so go ahead and put it down closer to here. And that way it goes through both sides. So kind of like that. And then you can simply use some matching twine that you have. I have some Bermuda Bay here that I'm just going to cut a length off of, whatever you need. And then you just hold it in half and put it through and then through and then just hang it on your project. And uh, there you have it, a nice little fun set of mini coffees, and I just think they're so fun. A great way to use a tag, another great way to use your stamp set and dies. Uh, right now you can get these as a bundle. Very excited to see the new holiday catalog coming out. I'll be able to pre-order, and if you want to become a demonstrator, you'll be able to pre-order that starting August 1st. Um, this video will come out after that, I'm sure. But um, anyway, I am just excited about the new holiday catalog. <laughs> there are tons of great things, and I'm still still delving into the new annual one. So, man, time flies when you're having teeth pulled. Um, <laughs> actually, it went rather slowly when I was in pain, to be honest. But anyway, <laughs> all that to say, uh, try these out, guys. And if you need any of these supplies, just uh, head on over to my website at CynthiaMaynard.com and click on the Stampin' Up! link. Or you can leave me a message below, and I will email you and contact you. Thanks, guys, so much. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a creative day.